Analytics is about making better decisions based on insights from data. However, before analytics can start, data needs to be prepared. The tools for doing this are collectively called a data infrastructure. Let's start with traditional business intelligence. Data is generated in transactional systems like ERP, CRM and HR from vendors like SAP, Oracle, Salesforce and Microsoft. These are called OLTP systems, standing for Online Transaction Processing. Although these have some reporting capabilities, they're not designed for running complex queries which can impact performance. The other weakness is that each application only sees its own data. For example, customer contact details may be in CRM, while purchase history may be in the ERP system. To help with this, we can put a centralized data repository in place, which contains data from multiple applications. This is called a data warehouse, or often an enterprise data warehouse, or EDW. Data warehouses are designed to support analytical processing, hence the term OLAP, Online Analytical Processing. The word online here is a sign of how long these systems have been around. It means computerized, as if anything isn't these days. Data warehouses have grown in size and in larger organizations, there may be many of them. Despite being designed for analytics, they have some shortcomings. And in many cases, we need to introduce a further copy or copies of the data in the form of data marts. Data marts have two advantages. Firstly, they contain a subset of data for specific sets of users. For example, sales, marketing or finance. This means that business analysts can have their copy of the data, which they can safely experiment with. They cannot inadvertently damage the source data as marts only contain copies. The second advantage is that data marts can run queries very fast. And even if lots of these are run, it won't impact on other departments in the business who have their own marts. There is a workflow from start to finish, which is called a data pipeline. Analytics tools are used to visualize the data to make it easier for humans to gain insights and make decisions. Sometimes data may be fed into advanced analytics tools, such as machine learning or AI. Data integration or ETL tools are vital to the whole process. This is software designed to extract data from a source, transform it, then load it into the next stage. Transformation is a key step for a number of reasons. For example, data is likely to be stored in different formats, certainly across applications, but even sometimes within an application. Take, for example, these names. Are these the same person or different? Data needs to be conformed. In other words, a schema needs to be decided up front and data modified to conform with that schema. So now we have an end-to-end -end view of a traditional data pipeline. The components used to create this, data warehouse, marts, and ETL tools, are called a data infrastructure. You may have heard of the term big data. This is where things get interesting. Firstly, let's have a look at what big data actually means. Gartner, which is an IT industry analyst firm, started talking about a new category of data which is characterized by three Vs. These types of data come in a wide variety of formats, can be of high volume, requiring big storage capacity, and high velocity, meaning data can be created at a fast rate, typically by machines. Examples of so-called big data include log files, perhaps generated by websites or operational equipment, social media content, media files like audio or video, streaming data created by sensors or programmable logic controllers, which might be part of an IoT solution. One of the reasons that these have become significant is that these types of data can be used to provide information about the physical world, but in a digital format. These types of data, though not necessarily new, have been an untapped source of insights, which can be used for competitive advantage or for enabling new business models. Some examples of these include Uber, which uses a specialized app coupled with mapping and GPS technology to provide an innovative taxi service. Or Google, which uses internet search activity 
to provide highly targeted advertising. Many companies are wanting to use these digital technologies to transform their business. The problem is that traditional data infrastructure cannot cope with the three V's of big data. Luckily, some new technologies have evolved to help us out. We need a central repository to capture our data. The generic term for this is a data lake. Unlike data warehouses, which are normally proprietary, data lakes tend to be open source, scale out solutions which can leverage cheaper industry standard hardware. The net result is a system which can scale performance and capacity as needed and at a much lower cost. Data lakes also work with a wider variety of data types. Hence, we have all three Vs of big data covered. There are a number of technologies which can be used on their own or in combination to create a data lake. The first is called Hadoop. This comes in a number of flavors such as Cloudera, Hortonworks or MapR. The second major technology is NoSQL. This comes from vendors such as MongoDB or Cassandra. Similar to traditional data infrastructure, departments may want their own subsets of data to work with. These can sit in an analytical database such as Greenplum or Vertica. To move data through the data infrastructure, a new breed of ETL tool is required. In many cases, organizations are finding they have to use armies of data engineers to write scripts in languages like Python or R. There are also tools like Pentaho, which can orchestrate data integration using drag and drop style tools with templates, which can dynamically reduce the number of repetitive tasks. In many cases, digital transformation requires the blending of data from traditional and big data sources. It turns out this is very hard to achieve. In 2017, Gartner was estimating that around 85% of big data projects were failing. However, as technology evolves and matures, the businesses which can get this right will gain a real advantage.